Welcome, YouTubes, to what is hopefully the last episode of this mind-boggling mystery, and I have no idea what the rewind button is doing. Meats gets dirty is with us, so is Ruckus Guest. Possibly Doom Lad, and maybe Month is in the back there somewhere. I don't know. That said, last episode was not good enough. Unhappy. I am... I demand satisfaction, sirs. First, we have two things. What does continue do? What does rewind do? Continue, I think I'm betting. All right, Doom Lad is in the mix. Yes, we are all here to solve a mystery. My guess is rewind rewinds before I got on the ship. What does continue do? Yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't help me. This, this, yeah, no. Quit the title. Rewind. Rewind back to the ship. No progress will be lost. Yes, rewind. So, we did get one clue from that whole bullshittery going on. And that clue is the fact that we should be able to determine everybody's fate Except for Martin. Martin's different from everybody else. There is nothing saying what happened to him. We have no option of determining what happened to him. He's the only one like that. That I've seen. Patrick O'Hagan, we got him. This guy, we don't know who he is. Wait a second. Now he's the only seaman who doesn't have a name. Which makes him George Sherman. Shirley. My bad. Sorry, I saw Seaman and Shirley. It just went Sherman. Met an unknown fate. Who else are we missing? There should be like three Martin. Oh, be a three like Martin. No. I don't... You think... Martin Perot is unknown. Check, 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 check. Zangi Sante is the ship steward and Philip Daw from Sweden is unknown. Yeah, we don't know what happened to Daw. Wait. This guy was speared by a terrible beast. We saw him speared by a terrible beast. We saw this guy speared by a terrible beast. Either that or he bled out. Could he have survived? No. No, we found his bones. His bones. Bones! There's no way he's alive! He's like the American dream! He's as dead as they come! Look, he blood. There's still blood on the ground where he is! Merely a flesh wound. Merely a decayed and fly ridden flesh wound. Look, this is him! He's dead! He is. <laughs> He has joined the choir invisible. This is an ex-sailor. <laughs> Wait. Wait, why is... You son of a bitch. Someone shoot the damn thing. He was fucking shot? He was shot? He, was, he wasn't spiked? He was shot by that guy! Who the hell is that guy? He was shot! There's blood coming out! He wasn't spiked and bled out! The son of a bitch was shot! With a gun? By... An unknown officer? Someone! That guy! Whoever that guy is! Is that Baldy? 
It is, Baldy. He was cut, shot by the bosun's mate. That is so infuriating. I, you gotta be fucking kidding. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> How on... I don't... Bosun's mate. What the I don't believe. Shit. I'm gonna go and make sure that's Baldy. Who died next? Butcher. Where'd he die? He was pegged. Right here. Give me that gun, he says. Not in this memory. I went the wrong way. Stop whining. Yep, he was shot by the bosun's mate. They're looking at around the corner at something. Another guy coming in. Where's our dead friend? He died roughly here ish. Behind. This is the right location. Baldi's right there. Backed up while somebody came down the steps. This is it. Yeah, Bosun's mate did it. I'm calling that. That's so fucking infuriating. That's so fucking infuriating. It wasn't Peter's. Wasn't the carpenter. Okay. But we've probably got to solve other people's deaths before then. Who else? Philip Dahl. We can't determine what happened to him. So this guy was shot by Charles Minor, the bosun's mate. Who else? Never mind. George Shirley. <laughs> this son of a bitch. Will we never be rid of him? Torn apart by the beast. Yeah? No? Do you not like that? Strangled? We don't find his body is the thing. He just disappears. Expired of old age. Out in sea. He was... Crushed by the beast? That doesn't seem right either. Drowned by the beast? Whoa! There's nothing left. That's it. So, okay. That's it. That's it. There were the last two. 
Martin Perot, we don't know what happened to him. Philip Dahl, we don't know what happened to him. And yeah, I can't believe Drowned, Drowned. That's what we're calling this, Drowned. All right, though, you know, I'm not going to complain too loudly. Let's get out of this memory. Keep a magical watch, which I got to admit is great payment. And we have finished the book. Let's send it to Evans. And rem that reminds me. That reminds me. Henry Evans. Henry Evans sent this to us. Failing health. He wanted to do this for his own ship. He had the pocket watch. He had the pocket watch on the ship. And the manifest. He hired the artist. That's why the artist was here. Because he wanted to make... A, a book about the Oberdin to begin with. Where the hell did a doctor like that get a watch like this? All right, mate. We should go. I agree. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Uh, yeah, it sounds good, man. Let's get. Take me home to the place I belong. Finally, sit down. Where the hell did a boat like this get a pair of spider scimitars? Oh, <laughs> that's because they ticked off the wrong people. To my tea desk in my study with Mr. Wilkins getting me tea. Spider centaurs. Cool. One week later. All right, here we go. What I'm interested in is the two people that we don't know what happened. Daw and Perot. Fate unknown, finding of merit, extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties, a state awarded. And the, um, the captain's mate. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's, it's Captain Stewart. Philip Daw, fate unknown. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate, findings of demerits, failure to perform his duty, estate fine 35 pounds. And we read all this last episode. And total claim has changed slightly, but otherwise. We can find out what's going on with the bargain. I got a magic watch! And the book is returned to Henry Evans. Finally complete, just as he wished. One year later. Getting good at that French accent. Must focus on tea. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, my nerves. Don't believe it. Oh, the thing smells just 
dreadful. What the fuck? Maybe you don't open it inside. Uh, I'll be turning in now. Yeah, you you turn into whatever you need. Oh, oh, she made more tea in this timeline. <laughs> fetch, fetch me some more. I know you're turning it, but can you at least leave the card out? So thank you. I'm glued to this chair. I can't move. Here we go, guys. Are you ready for story time? Do you have your tea ready? Some bitch, you better. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Obra Dinn is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. Huh. I have options. Well. The tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. He. I'm just just let me make my victory lap. We we'll get to the we'll get to the bargain in a second. I'm just I'm just enjoying this insanity here. Just like Did we get a bag of fingers? Maybe. All right. <sighs> Let's see what happened. Did he send you his body parts so you can work its voodoo? Oh my god, you're right. Fucking God. Do you understand what this is, guys? Uh, do you get it? Do you know what this is? We've seen people and animals die on that ship. But the one thing we never actually saw, the one thing that was so distinct and exotic that stuck out, but we never really discovered its fate, was the monkey. This is the monkey's paw. Yes. Yes, it's the monkey's paw. Let's... I guess... Let's do this. There you are. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Right. Well, here's Perot. There's Evans. The monkey was shot by Evans so that he could collect a dead body part to keep hold of a way to return back here. Wow, that's planning ahead, my man.
we've got one last mystery involved here. The doctor and the first mate, Stuart Paul. Interesting. Yeah, we're, t we're totally not done here. We've got a couple of bodies to check out. And the chest is open. How very interesting. I guess we're going here first. No? No, we're going here first. Well, let's see what happened to Perot. A third shell. The captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. <laughs> That's why it returned to the creatures, the beasts, moved the ship to port. That was the bargain. That was the bargain. Okay, three shells total. This is the third shell right here. A third shell given as a bargain to move the ship home. Yeah, yeah, in a second. I want to take a closer look at this body. Okay. Where the hell? There he is. Our man here was spiked. We've seen this happen a couple of times. By the terrible beast. I hope I have that right. Who else is in here? Fourth mate. He's alive. Uh, Paul. We saw him earlier. With the doctor. I think the Paul was meant to be leaving anyway. Who killed him? That's right, he was stabbed while they were trying to escape. Would you say spiked is a number one cause of death on the ship? You know, we can do the statistics if you want, but I honestly think the uh, number one cause of death on this ship were uh, the critters, like something by via a beast. What? 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 <laughs> Well, oh, he's got a shell. Wonder if that's the third shell. Well, there's Doll. He died how he lived. An idiot. 
That's the captain. Captain's like, fuck you. Withdraw the kraken or feel my pokiness. What verb shows up the most? Well, you can find out. Just real quick thing. Suicide. Shot, shot, club. Torn, torn, alive. Decapitated, speared, spiked. Struck, spiked. Shot, shot, fell. So far, shot. Crushed, crushed, crushed. Knifed. Alive, alive. Clawed, burned, spiked. Shot, shot, unknown. Killed. Knifed, crushed, alive, exploded, knifed, spiked, fell, shot, electrocuted, decapitated, speared, crushed, speared, crushed, speared, <laughs> club, shot, drowned, drowned, fell, clubbed, killed, illness, crushed, crushed, illness, spiked, knifed, felled, speared, drowned, crushed. I'm going to go with either crushed or shot. Lots of shots. <laughs> yeah, shot by a long way. There's just a whole bunch of pokery going on here with bullets. Yeah, no problem, meats get dirty. <laughs> a lot of going on in the lazarette. Uh, really, it's just the captain involved here. That's how he drove away the monsters to begin with. Death Watch. Oh my god. Would you call this a death clock? Whoa. Call it off, damn you. This is your Kraken. You brought it here. Send it back. <laughs> Meanwhile, Captain's going fucking crazy and he's like, you know what? Shoot everyone. This is what it means to be a prisoner. Blam. Kablamo. Blammeroony. This really doesn't tell us anything more. Just that Captain was pissed off, wanted to save his ship, and said, You know what? Let's kill us some prisoners. Uh, I can't help but notice that this adds to the shot total on our statistics. So, that. <laughs> yep. Got lots to do here. Might as well stare at the shell. I, uh, I think we all know who's next. There's only one page left that has been not dealt with. And that would be Doll here. Let's see what happened, my man. Burned by the power of whatever this thing is. Quicksilver. He reached in to get the shell. The last time we saw this, the king reached in to get the shell. This guy died the same way. He was burned by the power of whatever was, whatever was in here. So let's piece this together real quick. We got some Formosans. And they've got this chest, and this chest apparently has three shells in it. One of the shells was used, I guess, to get rid of some mermaids so that they could all escape. Burn, burn, burned. Yep. Obra Dunn is the name of the, of the achievement I just got. the point of this travel <laughs> so
so let's put this together real quick. All right. Okay, loose cargo. At this particular point, everybody is alive and safe, but we have four Formosans. A king, a queen, I'm guessing. A king, a queen, and two guards to protect them. They've brought with them a chest, which I don't see a, a picture of anywhere in here, which is probably for the best. They brought a chest with them. That chest had some kind of magic shell in it. Three, at least three of them. So... Bitter cold. A sickness hits this place. Right now, not big. It's just like two, right? Two people die from this sickness. Not a big deal. Then the murder starts happening. Because of this chest that the Formosans brought, uh, Nichols, I think, was the asshole who started this whole thing. Nichols decides to murder one guy, blame the other, and then get him shot so that he could kidnap the king and queen and their chest and go out in the sea to get a shell. Eh, no, to sell the chest. They were going for the Canary Islands. Then the struggle happened. They ditched one of the shells to get rid of the monsters. That's what killed the king. Yeah, and then after returning to the ship, Nichols gets shot. Good. And they take the captives and they throw them into the brigs. Then all the other mermaids and people, they get pissed off and they start attacking the ship to rescue their brethren, which is why they were immediately climbing down into the hole. One of their brethren that they kidnapped, apparently, the mermaid, had a shell on her back. Hmm. Maybe? No, that doesn't make sense. In any case... The soldiers are fended off, so the rest of the mermaids are like, you know what, fuck these guys, and they send a goddamn kraken in the way to start killing everyone. That's when the king is, or the king, the captain's just like, yeah, no, fuck this, and starts shooting and stabbing the captives to call off the kraken. Then the bargain is made, before the, uh, Evans takes everything, <laughs> The bargain is made. Leave the ship alone and see her home. In exchange, we will give you the shell and send you on your way. The captain has thrown the shells into the sea by this point, apparently, because they said, well, uh, look, the captain hasn't thrown all the shells away. So the escape happens. This is where Evans and three others, including the two ladies, jump into a ship and say, fuck this noise. And they hightail it to Africa. That, of course, didn't go so well. <laughs> anyway. And then, after everything is said and done, on all the bullshittery is dealt with, two of the ship... No, three of the shipmates still think the captain is holding against the shells, right? So they attack the captain. Captain's just like lost over the he, he's just fucking sad because his his wife died during this whole catastrophe and all the people in the ship are dead too everybody's accounted for they're all dead everyone's dead except for the four people who escaped and the captain takes his own life the end now that's that's a story That's one hell of a tale. And uh, because we have the monkey's paw, even the bones of the monkey's paw, we always have a way to see this last chapter, the hidden ch bargain chapter of this book. As long as we have the paw and the, uh, and the watch, that's kind of our link always. I, I hope this is gonna be a series. I know a lot of work went into this. Just a lot of fucking work went into this game. 
but this was goddamn fun and I've never encountered another game quite like this. <laughs> it's no Crypt World! The end. Okay. Satisfactory. I am happy. Everybody accounted for. Everyone dealt with. We figured it out. I could not, literally I could not have done it without the help of Doom Lad, Ruckus Guest, and everybody else that showed up. Even Meats, I'm pretty sure you helped out in these last couple of episodes. And you know what? No replay value, but I mean, how many books do you want to reread? It's kind of along those same lines. I wonder what would happen if, now that we have all the answers, we just walked into a, a fresh brand new game and just started filling out all the answers correctly from top to bottom. It's like, oh yeah, it's this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. <laughs> Okay, that's not quite an hour for the uh, mystery hour here, but I think I can get some leeway for finishing this up. And also, this is like the first full beginning to end Let's Play I have done in a while, in forever. Did I? Uh, yes, Meats, you did help out. Uh, you were mentioning... Oh, God. Don't make me rewind. I recorded it. Oh God, I know you helped with something. It was with the last three semen. No, that was month. Trust me. You helped. Let's just say, if nothing else, you, you were waving your pom-poms and cheering me on. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys. Even like the nine, ten people who are watching this on YouTube, I appreciate them too. We saw this to its conclusion. Got every ending, seen everything. Just take the credit. That's good. That's what this is all about, credits. Um, I really wish... They probably won't. But the guys that made this... I'd like to see a sequel. I'd, I'd like to see more. I, it's, it's addictive in the way that Sudoku is, or any logic puzzle. And the fact that it really tests your ability to observe more than any other game. Like, how many times did we guess? Maybe three times? If I'm, uh, if I'm modest, maybe four times. But four times out of 60, everything else was just forcing you to kind of look, see, take in, process, figure out. Brilliant. I love it. Created by Lucas Pope. Awesome, Mr. Pope. Awesome. Oh. We are overdone. So uh, I want to do one last thing since it's not yet... Yeah, back to the sensibilities of old school adventure games, but unlike other adventure games, there was no inventory. It was purely, who is this guy? How did he die? I've never seen a game do that. Maybe they could do the second story where the watch came from. I'd like to know that. We'd, we'd learn a little bit more about Evans. Or, since this guy has the watch, maybe we'll see more of his, her adventures, because I... I think at some point you can go through this and it'll be a woman's voice. That's why you're always seeing gloves. Uh, and yeah, Ruckus, maybe the library means there are... I saw a diamond on that bookcase. Hmm? Maybe. I'm just... Hmm? I can hope. Now, before we go, there's something I'd like to do. There's something I'd like to do. I'd just like to take a look... 
at the achievements. Uh, oh yeah, why is this under my achievements for this game? What? Achievements. There we go. Okay, first off, we have one hidden achievement remaining. Feck. Uh... I'm not an achievement hunter. I'm not going to try to be an achievement hunter. Yeah. I'm not going to... I'll just look up what this is. I don't care. If it's... There's probably... A time-based achievement that wouldn't make sense with this game. All you would do is walk in and start solving mysteries and walk out. Well, maybe we'll look that up in a second. This mystery hour has another 20 minutes. So any 6, any 15, any 30, any 45. This is what I want to kind of see. Uh, solve all the fates in Chapter 1, Loose Cargo. Chapter 2, Bitter Cold. Chapter 3, Murder. This is just the name of the uh, things. Damn. Abandon ship. Leave the ship without solving all the available chapters. Huh. Okay. Obra done. Solve the entire book. And then one missing. And because I, I don't want to... Oh, yeah! That's the other thing you can do with this, isn't it? You can check out global achievement stats. More people solved a bitter cold than loose cargo, which makes sense. Not a lot happens in a bitter cold, and they both die of illness. But check this out. 40% of the people who play this game get Obra done. And even fewer get abandoned ship. So more people stick with it and say, no, what are those last two? What are those last two fates? We gave up early, and we got it early, and the cap captain did it. Captain did it is the hidden achievement. This is kind of like, okay, just solving six fates puts us above like 30%-ish. Like maybe 30, 35%. Of the race. Just solving six. But we, th we went through the whole game and got Obra done and abandoned ship. I have no idea how to get a captain. You want, you want to do that? You want to get the captain did it thing? Just look up how to do it and do it? Because I frankly, I don't, I don't really don't want to deal. Uh, discussions, related groups, guides. Full explanations and deductions, that's boring. I want to know how you get the hint nudge guide. Fate for every crew member. I want to know how you get the achievements. Walkthroughs, maps, levels. Complete retelling. Okay, let's try the hint nudge. Introduction, blah, 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 blah. Non-specific advice, blah, 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 blah. Don't care, don't care, don't care. The end. Huh. I don't see an achievement guide here. Blame the captain for every single death besides the murder which he commits. Blame the captain for every single death besides the murder which he clearly commits. I just set every death to shot with a gun by captain. It's a joke achievement. Okay. I don't care about getting that. And that sounds like trouble. That sounds like work. I don't, I don't want to work, man. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing video games for the internet. <sighs> so, now that we're done, I'm going to take the next week off. I'm going to start, um, I guess, in Monday. I'm going to do the stream again. And uh, I, we are going to do another mystery game, another one that I was interested in. It probably isn't as good as Oberdin, but I will tell you here and now which one I'm doing. 
because you deserve it. Uh, next time on the uh, on the mystery hour, Kona. Yeah, we'll see what that entails. I haven't even seen a trailer of this game, but uh, it looks like a lot of fun and. Well, it's a mystery meets get dirty. Look it up. And uh, yeah, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving, even though this video is coming out like the week after Thanksgiving for YouTubes. Eh, you guys are in the special uh, mystery hour club. <laughs> oh God, boy, does that sound like a Saturday morning cartoon. I'm going to call it good. Thank you, everybody who showed up. Thank you, everybody who viewed all of the videos on YouTube. Thanks, Meats Gets Dirty, Doom Lad, Ruckus Guest Month. Uh, who else showed up to help with all this mess? Nordy! Nordy showed up at the very beginning of this particular night. Thank you, everyone. You have a wonderful life. And thank you, uh, of course, for spending a little bit of your time with me. Happy mystery hunting. 